we got them. Now back to the show. We're looking at Rhino, which is far and away my favorite mask vehicle of all time. In the annals of my childhood, there's a short list of toys that were by far the, the most cherished, the, the absolute best gifts um, I ever got growing up. Uh, we're talking about a list with Castle Grayskull, uh, the USS Flag, obviously, Optimus Prime, Voltron, and Rhino. This guy uh, came with two figures. Uh, the first being uh, a Matt Tracker, uh, the leader of Mask. Um, this mask in particular I think is called Ultra Flash. And he also came with Bruce Sato with his lifter mask. That doesn't come off. Bruce Sato was uh, the mechanical engineer of the, the Mask team. And we got a lot of fun play features on the vehicle. So firstly there are two buttons back here behind the cab. Uh, when you push the one on the left, the front grille extends and becomes like a battering ram that's spring-loaded. Uh, on mine in particular, it also opens up this door and activates the ejector seat. That's supposed to be the other button, but mine is just too much of a hair trigger, I guess, and one button does both. Smokestacks on either side come out and rotate downwards. And we got guns. This back what the fuck? So this back section pulls off and actually becomes its own little vehicle. This lifts up, there's a seat in there. So you're kind of getting two vehicles in one. And the coolest feature for me that always made me feel like I was getting a playset, not just a truck, was that the cab extends. This flips up steps come down like this and you have a kind of like a mobile command center complete with a giant rocket it isn't the most durable of mask vehicles and you know over the years a lot of people lose little bits and pieces off of theirs there's a lot of chrome wear uh, but for me it was imperative that I get one that was for the most part complete um, not just as a as a collector, but as a as a nostalgia addict. I just I just had to have a, a working rhino.